With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Question is, a disc of mass mkg and radius r meter is rotating at an angular speed of omega radian per second when the motor is switched off. Neglecting the friction at the axle, the force that must be applied tangentially to the wheel to bring it to rest in time t is. So here we can say, this is our disc here rotating about, let's say center of mass, let's say in, let's say when it is being switched off, its initial omega is given here as let's say omega and here we can say finally it comes to rest. So final angular velocity becomes zero in time given as let's say t. We need to find here the force, tangential force which must be applied opposite direction so that this can bring here angular retardation in opposite sense. So here we can find here alpha. So we can see here this omega f is equal to we have here as omega i plus alpha into t. Now omega f is 0. Omega i is let's say here as omega initial angular velocity is omega plus alpha into time as t. Hence alpha comes out to be our minus of omega divided by time t. Now here if we apply torque equation about the center of mass of the disc. So about com of the disc we have here as tau is equal to we can say as let's say i alpha by Newton second law. Hence tau here torque about this let's say center of mass can be written here as r cross f here r vector and f vector are perpendicular to each other. Hence we can see here this comes as rf into sin 90 degree and direction is let's say plus k cap and here we can see angular acceleration is opposite to angular velocity. So this is in let's say plus k cap direction. So we can see here i alpha. So moment of inertia of this disc about center of mass is mr square by 2 and here alpha we have here as omega by t and its direction is also in plus k cap direction. So we need to find the magnitude of the force f. So this comes as f into r and this part here is our mr square omega divided by 2 into t. So r and r cancels out. Hence we have the relation the tangential force value as m into r omega divided by we have here as 2t. So m r omega divided by 2t that is option number 1 is the correct answer. Hence we can see here the tangential force that must be applied tangentially to the wheel to bring it to rest in time t is m r omega by 2t. Hence 1 is our answer. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.